So the thing that was memorable for me about this musical was that uh, Nathan Fillion, Felicia Day, and Neil Patrick Harris all had amazing and different roles. Like the villain, that's who is the good guy, the good guy who's the villain, and then the girl who's falling for the good bad guy, but wants to go with the bad good guy. No, that whole dynamic. So that was pretty interesting. The three things I found in this play were rivalry, good versus evil, and romance. The first one, rivalry, was between Dr. Horrible and Captain Hammer. Starts off as a normal superhero, supervillain type of rivalry, but then it switches up when Captain Hammer steals Dr. Horrible's girl, and then so uh, Dr. Horrible goes through with his plan of trying to kill Captain Hammer. Second one is good versus evil. You can see the fight of good versus evil inside. Uh, Dr. Horrible, he, he wants to change the world, so he views himself as sort of a hero, but at, in a villain role. And he doesn't want to do heinous acts like kill someone or hurt a child or hurt an old lady. But then that changes when, uh, as before, Captain Hammer steals his girl. And finally it was the romance theme uh, and absence of. Uh, Captain Hammer didn't really have any romance with him. like. He was just like, oh, I'm sleeping with this girl for the first time, for a second time. And so, like, that shows that he didn't really have any romantic feelings for anyone. But then, uh, Penny and Dr. Horrible had, like, almost romantic relationships. But then Captain Hammer came in and screwed all that up. Brand New Day shows the development and moves the plot forward with Dr. Horrible showing that now he's finally let go of all his remorse as he says and can now kill someone without feeling too bad about it although that does change at the very end of his song where he's about to kill Dr. or er, Captain Hammer. I felt the musical elements in this play definitely increased the storytelling elements of this play. Uh, it shows mood as well as allows multiple people to talk at the same time without it feeling like too congested. And then also, yeah, like I said before, it also affects the mood, like how when Dr. Horrible was trying to kill uh, Captain Hammer, it shows him striking terror into all the people with not only his words, but then like just the tone and music of that scene. My first question is, in the scene with the car chase where uh, Penny gets barely saved, what would have happened to the plot if Penny had recognized Dr. Horrible in that scene? How would that have changed the whole dynamic of this play? And then second, uh, what did you think about the ending? And could that possibly lead to a sequel with uh, Dr. Horrible trying to bring back uh, Penny and then uh, Captain Hammer trying to get revenge on Dr. Horrible for making him feel pain. Alright, thanks.